welcome back to my channel it's brie la unica and today's video is a makeup video as you can see um i did a full face of using drugstore products so if you want to achieve this look or any kind of look you you know want to do with drugstore products please continue watching this video okay so we're gonna start by using primer the primer i'm using today is the elf poreless putty primer now as you can see i already used it this bro this primer bro it like has a weird weird texture but it's like so good bro literally so good let me see i'm gonna put it around my t-zone where I mostly have like big pores and stuff about my nose rub that in and it's like it don't feel greasy it doesn't feel like heavy very lightweight so let's put that all over our face neck okay and then then we're gonna move on to color correcting so let's do that I'm going to bring you guys up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, also from e.l.f., I'm going to be color correcting. So I have this color correcting palette. And the colors I will be using today is the green one and, like, the peach beige one. So I have these bags, honey. Ooh. Um, I usually have a beauty blender for this. I don't know why I do that. Um, I don't use a beauty blender for this. I just use my finger because I think it has the most coverage. So I'm going in with my finger, just dabbing it in. And I mix, I usually mix these two together. Dab, dab, dab. All right. So when I'm done with that, we're gonna move on to concealer. Okay, I said concealer, my bad, but for foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani, Milani, I can't really pronounce it, Conceal Plus Perfect Two in One foundation and concealer in the shade double ob which is uh light fair whatever i'm a pale bitch okay i'm pretty pale so don't mind that um i'm gonna dampen my beauty blender with my setting spray which is the wet and wild one i love this one this is the dewy one so i'm just gonna let's shake it and see this is my first time actually like using a liquid foundation like this because i have a stick foundation which is the maybelline super state and i honestly love this one this is like the literal like li this is literally my skin tone like um if you don't follow me on instagram which what are you doing do you, do you want attention that's what you want attention because i'm not gonna give it to you but anyway Oh, all right. She's creamy. So I put it in the back of my hand and I'm just gonna put my beauty blender and bounce away and see. Okay, I hope this is not too light because like I said, I am pale. Don't get me wrong, I'm pale. But I'm not that pale. So I'm just gonna blend this out. Oh no, I think this is oh. This might be my like winter shade. <gasps> Ooh, okay. It oxidizes really nicely. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. My nose. I would say the coverage is um buildable, like very buildable. Like I had like a little bit of pimples here and it went away. So and I didn't put no color correct, no anything as you guys seen. So it is definitely buildable. Alright, let me blend this out real quick and then we can move on to a concealer. Okay, now for fa not foundation concealer i'm gonna be using two of my holy grail these are my favorites okay favorites and i actually have a lot of concealer but 
we're not even doing that right now so my go-to is the maybelline superstay concealer in the shade ledger 15 i believe this is what it looks like and i'm gonna be using the elf hydrated camo concealer satin finish in the shade fair rose this is this is a bit on the lighter side but watch everything watch how it you know how it transform i really my go-to like obviously these are my go-to but like when i first started like wearing makeup and stuff getting into it this concealer and i still use it the wet and fat wet and wild photo finish oh my god you know what i'm about to use it whatever this is my favorite this is in the shade light honey like i love these combos that it gives me it gives me like a light to kind of dark finish which i like i like a bright under eye and stuff so that's why i be using different <laughs> different concealers but it'd be worth it bro it'd be so worth it they're obviously uh different skin tones obviously like different undertones but don't worry you see this one is more like a yellow this one's more like an olive this is a light undertone but it's gonna come together y'all just wait just don't judge a book by its cover not like this yet um using the same beauty blender i'm just gonna use the top one oh that's pretty oh all right and then if i have any excess i'll just blend it to my cheeks and stuff blend it out like this you see it now i obviously don't want to look too pale right that's why i have i put the two other concealers so it can like contrast my skin tone let me put it on my eyes eyelids nose area I don't ever put concealer on my eyelids because I don't like the way it looks like right now so I'm probably gonna take it off but this is what we're working with so I'm gonna take it off because I really don't like it and we're going to move on to the next up which is setting spray setting spray oh yeah man baking we're gonna bake okay by using maybe yes maybelline now for setting powder my setting spray i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me loose setting powder if you want a really good drugstore setting powder maybelline maybelline this is in the shade uh 15 which is a light so now i'm just gonna take a dry beauty blender Pack it on there, dust off some excess, you know, and just put it under your eyes. You see the difference? This is the setting powder. This is without setting powder. You see? It like mattifies it, kind of like matches with your skin tone. And like if there's any excess on the beauty blender, beauty blender I just go around my face and do that. And I just do that all around. So I'm not necessarily baking. Just lightly setting my face. Just lightly. Set my nose. Ex Ooh. Listen, y'all. Every time when it's time to go out, I gotta, you know, get dolled up or whatnot. Yo, I be like piling this stuff on right here. Because I know I'm about to be laughing, smiling, all that stuff. So I make sure that, hmm, I be making sure my shit is straight. Because I don't want to be looking like no grandma. Like, uh-uh. How, bro, that's mad embarrassing. You imagine some guy telling you a joke and you, all them wrinkles and creases come out. Ooh! Give it one side. I would die. Put it, ooh, in my chin, especially my chin. Hmm. Anybody got to see my double chin, right? Uh-uh. Here. Look, I look, ooh, 
this is just the base y'all this is literally just the base i just want y'all to know like it literally looks like my skin i don't know how it's picking up on camera because my phone is um the other way so i'm filming with the back of the camera so hopefully it, good, it looks good i hope the lighting and everything is good please tell me in the comments Ooh. but i think it looks pretty good from my angle so basically that's the setting if there's any excess i'm gonna just dust it off but i don't think there is but just in case now to brighten to you know get some warmth back i'm going to be bronzing so let's move on to bronzing shall we all right for bronzer to you know bring some warmth back into the face i'm going to be using the maybelline city bronzer in the shade 200 so this is what it looks like not too light not too dark you know just right in the middle so with an angled brush just dab it in make sure you tap the excess off you want to like squeeze your cheeks in so it can be like skinny or whatever i don't fucking know bro honestly i just do what i gotta do so i'm gonna squeeze my cheeks in and pull downwards and then i'm gonna lift it back up like that I do this because so like it could go all the way up but it just so it won't look like it's just staying there you know like a piece of caca so I just you know lift it up that's why I'm going up like this to add some more I'm gonna bring it up to my cheeks as well smile a bit put it up like that all right now I'm gonna do that to the other side Every time I do that face, I feel like Squidward when he was like handsome as hell. <laughs> that, that's what I feel like. I feel like Squidward when he was mad handsome, mad muscular. That's I definitely like him. I wanna be like him, honestly. Now I'm just gonna dust it all over my face at this point because I don't wanna look too light. So my forehead, this oh this base. This is a really good base. Before, when I was actually starting to do makeup, I mean, not starting, getting into doing makeup, I never used foundation because I was so scared of it being cakey. Mm, I think this is good. I was scared of it being cakey, but since I, um, you know, once you grow, not grow, or like are growing and maturing and like learn different techniques, see different things, you see a lot so when i first tried the stick foundation that i told you guys in there earlier um it looks so good i was like wait a minute she might have a routine in here all right let me, let me fix this real quick what's next oh why how why would i say that talking about what's next you know what's next blush like this is my favorite part of the routine i cannot go nowhere without blush listen even if i'm not doing a full face like this i will literally walk out the house a little bit of mascara lip gloss and blush i'm good to go i feel like i am kylie when i do that face okay i just feel so complete blush in a routine is like cream and coffee it's a match made in heaven and you cannot miss out the blush okay um i do have to buy a new blush because like the thing came off but i'm going to be using the wet and wild brush brush blush and it's in pearl scent pink okay this one ha uh, has like a little bit of shimmer to it so that's good let me see okay another angle brush this is my blush brush um i'm just gonna listen uh -huh. do not hesitate to go heavy go ham girl go ham all right you see that that's that's how your brush has to look so now you want to like uh not really smile but like you know a little grin so your cheekbones can show so you know where to apply the br the blush 
you see already like look at the difference blush no blush kylie kendall no and i'm not saying kendall's ugly she's she's a pick me in my opinion i feel like she is nobody can change my opinion that's how i feel if you feel some type of way go talk to your mom i don't really care that's how i feel i feel like kylie oh on my on the nose like you can't forget blush on the nose like come on now like look oh i look so oh my god i love blush like it just gets me so excited i just love it this is like a staple in the routine like you cannot do your makeup and then walk out the house with no blush that's like walking out the house with no panties nasty um we're gonna move on to highlight now all right so for highlight i'm going to be using the elf highlighter i personally uh this is when i was starting like to get into makeup i really don't like this one but it is begin beginner friendly so if you want to use it you can i feel like it like takes a while for the brush to pick it up and then you have to like constantly go back in like i do have an anastasia the glow palette i know i know but this is not drugs or related obviously so i'm not gonna use this so i gotta stick to the code stick to the game plan and just use what i got but i will be getting um more highlighters and trying to search for more so if you guys have any recommendations please let me know okay drugstore friendly all right so i'm just gonna be using like a little brush i dampened it with my setting spray so i'm just gonna you see like it's not even on the bridge of my nose i also like to put highlight here my cupid um bow right here see it's like it takes so long for the brush to pick it up like i don't understand why i don't understand bro I, I, bro if i was british i would not shut up bro i would not shut up for anything in the world for real like i would just be talking and talking and talking like i just love their accent all right i'm gonna give up because it's not even picking up i just love their accents bro like Like, I need British friends, honestly. Like, honestly, I would just be friends with them just to hear them talk. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But, like, I would, I love hearing them talk. Um, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I work at a cafe, right? And there's whole different types of people that come in the cafe, okay? So, majority of them are European people. Um, and I had this group I was taking care of. Oh, my God, bro. She was like, hello, can I get a latte? A small latte, please, with almond milk. Yes, cheers. Bro, I love them, bro. Like, I love British people. I wish I was British. Like, I just love them. Okay, so next we're going to move on to eyeshadow. And let me see. Today's palette is the only palette that I have. We're going to be using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded palette um and i'm just gonna be using like the brown shade mm. nice color scheme this is honestly perfect for like everyday wear especially for like fall you know this time of season it's really really good so i'm just gonna be using like a nice brown shade i'm into crazy um i'm gonna take this big fluffy brush because i'm gonna put it oh wait mm, wrong brush um it was this one a nice big flush fluffy brush and i'm just gonna be taking let me see i'm gonna hold it for you i'm gonna be using this brown right here this brown all over my eyelid i'm not doing no special look nothing like that i'm just gonna be using this brown brownish and just take it all over my eyes oh yeah this is like a burnt orange my fault y'all this is not a brown but it still could be used for everyday use you know and if you don't own an eyeshadow palette another great trick and it also will save you a lot of money um using bronzer as eyeshadow nothing wrong with it i use i still do it and it comes out great 
So don't be ashamed, y'all, okay? We are a body on a budget, okay? I don't like when people um try to make a scene. Damn, how can I explain it? It's like, okay, like let's say you find a way to save money, right? And you share it with people. Oh, if you broke, just say that. <laughs> you want attention so bad, don't you? Like, your mom doesn't give you attention, right? Right. Like, I hate, what, bro, I see that all the time on social media. And it's mad annoying. Like, OD annoying. So, just see, like, bro. One, two, three. One, two. My head done we're literally done now from the eyes we're gonna move on to mascara okay today's mascara i'm going to be using a combination of the covergirl full lash bloom and i'm going to be using the bambi eye mascara i believe this is from maybelline oh no this is l'oreal that's what it looks like we're gonna be using the covergirl one this is what the wand looks like it's more um little and stuff this is great for like under eye lashes for the bottom lashes comb them through oh my God, look at the final. bro i hate when that happens bro get my little cool okay bobo Oh well, that's you see. That's why I always keep a makeup wipe here, cause you never know, bro. You never know. On it, wait. I look he might keep it. It look he looks like a beauty mark. Oh my god. Bob Ross once said. What he said again? <laughs> I think it was like something happy mistake, something like that. Honestly, bro, R.I.P. Bro, I love Bob Ross. Honestly, like. I used to watch him, bro, I used to watch him religiously, yo. I love that man. I might be to a legend, oh my god. His voice is just so soothing. His paintings he would paint. It was just so relaxing to watch him. If you don't know Bob Ross, bro, stop. Honestly, stop. Like, for real, stop. Because how you don't know who Bob Ross is? Attention seekers, I say, bro. This is what I be saying. And this one is a bit bigger to, like, really get that full effect. So I'm just really going to go in and comb. I don't put mascara under my eyes, like, in the bottom lashes. Because, honestly, I don't know. I don't think I will like it. I have to try it and see. Cause you know you can't not get to try it but honestly i don't know okay so now we're gonna be doing brows um i have a spoolie somewhere we're not gonna put this bro i have this fantasy bro that like I just want to make a song, like one song, because I just want to see like if it will be good. Like I know I can't sing, I know I can't rap or whatever, but I just want to make a song. Like I love music. Music is a really big influence in my life. Um, Not saying I can't do anything without music because I can, you know, but like when it comes to, let's say like cleaning, um, etc, etc, trust and believe I'm going to have that speaker on. Hmm. Trust in money. Isn't that a song? I think that is a song. Like something believe by Keisha Cole, right? Yo, I've been knowing y'all. Bro, don't tell me I can't find this shit, bro. Oh, look at it right here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna be using a spoolie to brush on my brows. Oh my god. I need to do my eyebrows, bro. Before I don't think I could have do my eyebrows because they were so, bro, my eyebrows were thin. Like, it was like, that. <laughs> they were really thin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my apologies. Um, For brows, I'm going to be using this 
elf brow thing and um topaz it's a shade see i have like different shades and stuff like that um i'm gonna be using this brown one right here i'm gonna be using that and just dive it in oh yeah and i don't really like fill in my brows i just fill in like um like if i see any gaps or anything like you see see the difference it's like a little darker on the tail so i would just brush it out ring boom and i said that's all i'm gonna do i don't really do a lot to my brows because i don't have much but you know i gotta make it work maybe if i start like when i do them again i'm gonna really do like the whole shebang like the conceal the this the that you know <laughs> bro <laughs> i need to be stopped but i also like to put it here too oh yeah oh yeah now i really need to get them done bro like this this tail right here looking crazy bro it's about to reach my aunt oh no nah. i need to get them done for real all right Okay, um, should I do eyeliner? Oh. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do eyeliner because I don't have lashes today, so we're just gonna move on to the lips, okay? But I, tr bro, trust me, when I do the full glam video of like a tutorial, I'm gonna have the lashes, I'm gonna have the this, I'm gonna have the that. <clears throat> trust me, bro, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have the whole motherfucking package for y'all. Don't worry. All right. So for the last and final step, we're gonna be using using. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing lips. Okay. Um. Now this is my go-to, my holy grail. Okay. I'm just gonna be using a brown lip liner and lip gloss. And that's it. Literally, that's it. Even if I'm not doing a full face of makeup ooh, or like anything, literally, if I gotta go out, let's say run errand, boop, boop, done. Like, literally, that's it. So, this is like a special, this is not really a special way I, I line my lips. I just go with like the creases of my lips, whatever. But since I've been learning some techniques, I, all right, but don't judge. It looks good so far, all right. So now I would put like um some blistex or Vaseline so it won't be sticky. But this is just for the video so I can show y'all. So y'all see, right? That's how I like my lips. Now it's just a lip gloss. Mm. Mm. Really get it in there. Like massage that shit in there. All right, you see how it looks, right? See here? Damn, my lips look mad big. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, just take some from the middle. Mm. No, like on the top, let's see. there we go mm. all right so i'll come back for the finish finish look when everything comes to my fucking together and i'll be right back right, y'all this is the finished look you are full face using drugstore makeup honestly bro i look so good oh my god i'm gonna be filming tiktoks i'm gonna my hair look crazy my hair looks crazy but it don't matter but this is the finished look it was super easy super simple honestly probably all these products are like under twenty dollars under ten dollars at that um and you could achieve this look or even like a full like whole glam like the whole shebang with drugstore makeup okay um if you like this video or like these types of videos please subscribe 
thumbs up comment also please comment down any highlighters you know any recommendations also for blush as well i want to start looking for new blushes new highlighters um and all of that all of that if you guys have any suggestions of what videos i should make or makeup tips whatever feel free to put them in the comments down below but i'm gonna end this video right here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye